Come on, chaps. Alright. Rihanna's had a couple of grooms with us in the past, and as you can see, she's quite a long haired cat. And the problem with these little soldiers is they get quite matted. And a lot of cats just don't like being brushed out on a regular basis. It's hard for owners. Uh, the cat gets quite trauma uh, traumatized. And it's not like dog grooming where there are a lot of dog groomers about. They typically need to be sedated or anaesthetized to let you clip those out. If there were just one or two clips, we could do that consciously. But with a generalized matting or if they need a generalized shave, what we generally call a lion clip, um, we sedate the patient. So we need to monitor this little soldier through her sedation. We need to protect her corneas be because cats don't uh, close their eyes when they're sedated and uh, their corneas will stay open and exposed. During a longer sedation they can get quite dried out so we always install a, uh, a corneal lubricant. Usually before we, or before we sedate a patient to do a cat groom we examine their mouth and their teeth and if there's a significant amount of plaque accumulation we'll usually discuss with the owner doing their cat groom under anesthesia with an endotracheal tube placed so that we can do a dental scale and polish uh, essentially a teeth clean at the same time. So the idea with sedating this little lady is to sedate her enough to do the groom but not too much and not make it too deep. We can always give her a little bit more, hence the intravenous sedation is the best because you've got more control. If you give it underneath the skin you, or intramuscularly, you've got to wait 15 minutes, assess them, then top it up as required. So intravenous, much, much better. And um, being a younger cat, we do monitor them. This is a blood pressure monitor that Lisa's putting on at the moment. Um, if we're worried about the patient, we'll have oxygen nearby, etc. But the sedations used for young, healthy cats are incredibly safe, incredibly well tolerated. Um, it'll be a pleasant experience for this little lady, and um, she'll be none the wiser afterwards. So.